morning and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. As you know, last week I uploaded my first vlog and we're back again for episode two of Unemployed Diaries. I did have a bit of a nightmare last week, so I edited my entire vlog, then lost all the footage, somehow managed to recover it and then I did get the video out. And I didn't let it bring me down because at one point it was basically 11 p.m. at night. I had spent six hours editing for it to all just disappear and at that point I thought maybe it's just not meant to be but because I then recovered the files I thought to myself no it's actually meant to be I should be doing this. I've had a pretty calm start to the week I did go and stay at my friend's house at the weekend which was really nice and I had a nice catch up with her but what I will say is that I think whatever bug or illness her and her husband had I definitely have caught a little bit of it because I've been feeling really under the weather the past couple of evenings and even this morning, particularly the mornings, I wake up and my nose is just so stuffy, I can't breathe. But I'm trying to stay in good spirits because I just feel like I have so much to do, so much filming to do whilst I still have this time off. Which brings me on to some good news I have to share, which is that I have a new job. It's probably not my first choice, but I know that I can't be picky forever and I do need to have some constant income coming back my way so I feel a lot of relief I am happy a job is a job at the end of the day and I start in two weeks time so that means that we will only have three episodes of the unemployed diaries I did say last week I wanted this series to be really short so we had last week and then we've got today's vlog and then also one more vlog and then of course I will just switch it over to weekly vlogs this entire experience of losing my job has honestly been such a testament to how life can change so quickly. So for me, in the space of six weeks, I've gone from losing my job, being unemployed, to being hired, and then I start another job in a couple of weeks' time. And it's just wild how quickly things can change. And I think we always know that. We always say, you know, life can change at any moment. But when it actually happens to you and you go through something, it is just a very surreal feeling. You know, I lost my job on a random Tuesday in October. I still remember just being locked out of my laptop at 5 p.m. And I thought, oh, okay, I don't have a job tomorrow. I will say, I think the biggest thing that has helped me throughout this entire situation is definitely my attitude towards life and my mindset. And it's something that I always share just in case it helps someone else out there. I view life in a very simple way. And if I could summarize it into one sentence, it would be that we are so lucky to be alive. Because I have that fundamental belief of how lucky I am to be alive, and I think about that consciously and subconsciously, genuinely, every day I wake up, and first I thank God that I'm alive, and then I say to myself, okay, let's have a good day. Now, of course, not every day is going to be amazing, and not every day everything is going to go my way. However, my genuine goal in life is to have more good days than not so good days. One of the biggest life lessons I learned from one of my stoicism books is that we can only focus on the things that we can control. In this example, I lost my job, right? And that was something that wasn't within my control. What was within my control is that I could update my CV and then start applying for jobs. And that is exactly what I did. I didn't put any energy or focus towards what had just happened because that wouldn't do anything for me. It wouldn't serve me. There's no purpose of it. If anything, if I kept overthinking, maybe I would get upset about it. But instead I thought to myself, okay, what can I do and what are the next steps? That was my reaction to that particular situation in life and it's a topic that I could talk about forever and I will be talking about multiple times in my videos and it's just the mindset and attitude towards life and how we can all live much happier and fulfilling lives with everything that we have. It's something that I am so passionate about and it's kind of why I wanted to start a YouTube channel years and years ago. It's just that I want to teach people or show people how we can all live happier on the very short time we have on planet Earth. Speaking of which, I've had a great morning routine, so now I'm going to go and pitch myself to some brands and see if they want to work together. So I have two video ideas. The first one is a simple morning routine, naturally and authentically. So those are the two top ideas I have at the moment. Then I have a little exciting treat today. So I'm about to go out and go and get a massage. So this all happened because last year for my birthday, I treated myself to a massage, absolutely loved it. And then I said to myself, okay, every year on my birthday, I'm going to treat myself. Now my birthday was in September, obviously it's now November. I just haven't had time to go, but I think better late than never. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. Saying my 
back feels so good now the only thing is i wish i had booked a longer session i only booked 30 minutes so next time i will definitely book for longer i also didn't realize she was going to put oil through my hair so i'll have to wash my hair but i don't care honestly 10 out of 10 experience so for this part of the vlog i thought i would do a little voiceover to explain what happened when i tried to make this rainbow cake so for context i was going to make this rainbow cake for my cousin's fifth birthday and i am the baker in the family so i have baked for many many years and i think what happened on this day has only happened to me maybe once before so as you can see here i am making the sponge cake with rainbow cakes is going to be a vanilla sponge the trick to the perfect sponge, by the way, for anyone interested, is you take your eggs and you note down the weight of them and then your sugar, your butter and your flour will all be the same weight. So I made the six colours and I did start to think here when I'm stacking them, they're very, very thick layers. I literally had to change the camera angle because you guys would not be able to see it. It was at this point I realised, okay, this cake is too tall but i had just spent so many hours baking it that i thought okay let me see what i could do which by the way i had put dowels in there was even a cake board in between the layers i did everything to my knowledge to make this cake stable but it was just literally still the leaning tower of pisa so here i am still trying to give it a crumb coat but shortly after this clip it basically just didn't collapse i just took it apart because there was no way i could transport this to manchester and it's already wobbling here which you can see as well so i just ended up taking it apart i was really disappointed in myself i was i was actually super upset i cried and then i got over it because i thought okay well he's you know he's four years old he'll forget but i don't like letting people down especially when i promise i'll do something the only respite i took was that i genuinely did try my best and i did everything that i knew of to my knowledge to make this cake work so this is what happened a little cake fail but what i did do is i cut it in half and then i took half of it home and i did have to throw the other half away because i couldn't transport it all and it was still very delicious <laughs> 